Hi everyone. We are uh, here today to look at how to make a black and white film fixer. Uh, for this you're going to need a dry funnel and a wet funnel, a uh, water measuring cup, a package of fixer powdered or other concentrated uh, chemical, an empty gallon jug, and filtered water not, not above 80 degrees uh, Fahrenheit which is uh, 26.5 degrees Celsius. This is room temperature, which means right now it's about 73, 74 degrees. It's just been maybe a little bit cooler than that. I've just been pour pouring it out of the uh, tap and running it through the through the home filter here. And uh, so what we're going to do next is once this gets up to three filtered liters, we're going to pour it into the uh, the water into the container here. Add the fixer shake it up and fixer is really very simple to make and as soon as everything settles out you can use it so we'll be back in just a minute as soon as we have back, this is a um, when I first made fixer the first time I just got a gallon jug of purified water from the grocery store so I'm still using that for fixer I wash it out very well each time with soap and hot water and a, a bunch of rinses and uh, you can tell your fixer has gone bad if it smells fresh fixer that is effective and will work work well um, it does not have a smell. Fixer is important because if your fixer is bad, it's going to reduce the contrast and the quality of your images. So having fresh fixer is a very, very important step in having high quality film pictures. Fixer lasts the shortest amount of time of any of your chemicals. It's also the most toxic. So when you dispose of it, you have to dispose of it properly. And I'm not going to be, answer any questions about how to do that because it's different everywhere. So when you use chemical, uh, the fixer chemicals, or any chemicals, find out how to dispose of them properly in your region and do it that way. Don't pour fixer down the drain. It has silver halide in it, which is something that can gr contaminate groundwater for a very, very long time. Uh, so I have two liters of water in here right now. Here's our third liter. And we're going to pour it right in. And this is going through the filtered funnel. Uh, as well. It doesn't need to, it's just pure water, but it's a good practice to pour all of your liquids through the filter and funnel. Shake out the water. Now that's three liters in there, but what I'm actually going to do after I put the fixer in is I'm going to bring it up, add a little bit more water to bring it up to almost the top. It'll make the fixer slightly weaker, but not enough so that uh, it's going to make an appreciable difference. I'll just have to add another minute or two to the fixing time, but I overfix anyway, uh, which I recognize is a problem sometimes in my in my negatives because the negatives curl, um, which means that they've been overfixed and underwashed. Uh, even when I wash these things sometimes for 15 or 20 minutes, it's uh, it doesn't help. But anyway, uh, don't overfix. That's the whole lesson of that. This is again a powdered chemical. You're going to hear me cough because I don't have a mask. You should also be wearing rubber gloves when you do this. This is a little bit more toxic than the developer, although the developer does have metal in it, which is nasty. Oh, and look at how fine that powder is. I'm just going to stop breathing for a minute. This is a really, really old fixer. <coughs> oh! Oof. And, uh, in fact, the bag on it says it's for plates. Plates from plate cameras. That's old. I don't know how old, but old. Shake that out. Fortunately, most of that dust just went into the sink. So that's good. Only a little bit of it went in. Oh, man, that burns. The part that went up my nose burns. Oh! Okay, that's why you need a mask. Now you can probably see here you got a bunch of crystals at the bottom. And this is how we mix it. In the proper mixing environment you would have something to actually mix it around with. Like an actual tool for mixing. Um, yeah, I'm not, not going to be doing that. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit more because that's not quite a gallon in there right now. And it's good to have your own dedicated processing mixing chemical utensils. Like this, this uh, measuring cup will never be used for anything except water for film processing chemicals. 
because I don't want to risk getting film processing chemicals like you saw the lip of that measuring cup touching the lip of this. That's now got fixer on it. And it was also sitting around nearby as I poured the fixer. So it's got fixer on it. So you don't ever want to use that stuff for food ever again. Now, this is going to sit for 24 hours. You could use it as soon as it clarifies. So as soon as it's, it's cloudy, whitish cloudy right now, as soon as this clarifies, it's good to use. But I'm going to let it sit for about a day and then filter through the, through the filtered funnel twice, once into another container and then once back into here, just to get out any impurities that could be filtered out of it. And then uh, this stuff will be good to use for, I forget exactly how many rolls, but it lasts me about a month to six weeks, best case scenario. And that's how you make a film fixer, very easy very quick.